be in high definition with Chief Meteorologist Joe Murgo. And look at the 30-day rainfall. Well, you see the white. That's over 20 inches of rain in the past month, and a lot of that very recently. In this big purple area, we're talking over 10, 15 inches of rainfall, and that is about, and, and you see these purple colors? That's over three times the amount that you usually would have. The average rainfall for 30 days, some places six times the amount of the average rainfall over the past 30 days. So a, a serious situation there in the middle of the nation. And fortunately, not widespread rainfall for today, but they're going to be isolated, soaking thunderstorms. There's actually a tornado warning for that one that is west of Dallas. So they're not getting widespread rainfall, but they're still going to have isolated strong storms. Around here, we've had a couple of showers so far. The real shower and thunderstorm activity still off to our west with a front that is slowly coming our way. As we take a look, low temperatures this morning were in the 60s. A muggy night last night. We rose up, a couple of dips down, but we got near the 80 degree mark in most spots for today. And dew point temperatures, well, we were in the lower to middle 60s. That's getting pretty muggy, especially for May standards. So on our comfort index, it's getting up there with our dew points in the mid 60s. It's going to be there again for tomorrow. May even get all the way toward the end, toward the oppressive. And then the humidity will come down a slight bit behind a front on Thursday. Here's the view with the Bedford Skynet. We do have clouds. We do have some sunshine. Fury Buick GMC Skynet in Altoona, a mix of clouds and sunshine. Current temperature in Altoona, 79 degrees. Southeasterly wind at 7. There's that muggy dew point of 63. In Dubois, some sunshine coming down through the clouds, 74. And a dew point temperature of 73. Elsewhere, 75 in Emporium in Johnstown, 79 in Bedford, 79 in Huntington. Uh, it's a little bit cooler than this time yesterday, but it's still pretty muggy. Geo in Phillipsburg, 74 degrees. He had one hundredth of an inch of rainfall and just some sprinkles for Paul and Blamberg with a mostly cloudy sky. Satellite and radar does show there's a band of stronger showers and thunderstorms off to our west, which will be shifting our way. All with a front that's approaching. Tonight, a shower in some spots, maybe a rumble of thunder. During the day for tomorrow, scattered showers and thunderstorms, but as future track is showing you, still going to be isolated. Some places getting a downpour, other spots missed. And once this front moves through, drier air starts to move on in in the mid-levels and reduces the chance of a shower or a thunderstorm for Thursday and on into Friday. So tonight, hazy, humid shower, maybe a thunderstorm in a few spots. Low temperatures, mid-60s. That's quite high for this time of the year. Warm and humid tomorrow, clouds, hazy sunshine, scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon. But like today, a lot of spots can be missed. Temperatures tomorrow night holding the 60s, 84 on Thursday, only a slight chance for a shower thunderstorm Thursday and Friday as the humidity come down, comes down a little bit. Nighttime temperatures may touch the 50s. Humidity comes back up, so scattered showers and thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday. We'll keep an eye on that. It may dry out later Sunday. That'd be great news because we do have our celebration uh, for the Children's Miracle Network at Del Grosso's Family Amusement Park from noon until 6. Carolyn? Thanks, Joe. A new